Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're diving into, um, I guess it's a controversial topic. Um, basically we're talking about um, the concept behind this tweet, um, a little bit about why I think it's right, or why, why I agree with this tweet, and I guess start some conversation around this whole um, etiquette concept with work, with Calendarly in particular. So um, we don't aim to cause any drama <laughs> if you're using Calendly. I know many people that do and find it a really beneficial experience. It's it's much more a conversation around work and um, sort of sparking some debate on best practices. Um, so hopefully you'll find it quite interesting. So I'll, I'll link to this tweet um, below. But basically it's from um, a chap called Sam Lesson. Um, hopefully he'll teach us a lesson. <laughs> I'm sure he said that before. Um and what we'll do is, is go and read it. And it's really around um, calendarly etiquette. So he says, when someone sends you a calendarly and asks you to slot yourself on their calendar, they're telling that you, you are less important than them. And that all of, your, their, all of their meet, current meetings are more important than whatever you need them for. It is a get in line move. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe to some extent this is correct. Um, he just seems to uh, go on it quite aggressively. Um, Calendarly is essentially you send someone a link and they book in a time with you. And it's very much um, on their time, um, which is very common. Like, for example, um, I'm bad for this because I normally try and say I'm only available during this time. Uh, and when I used Calendarly or other ones before, it was only on like one day and it was like, right, you're only getting these slots. So I'm guilty of this. Um, but I, I don't know whether he's been... Um, quite aggressive on the extent of um, get in line and sort of like um, you're less important than them. I don't agree that people do it out of malice. I just think it's just a social norm that we do that because it's like a tool that's currently available that fits a problem. Um, but again, you know, let's carry on reading. Um, I get it. It is an efficient way to do for the sender and there is some egalitarian, I'm not sure what that means, egalitarian? Not sure what egalitarian means. World where we say if we are all equally busy and treat everyone we are that we are meeting with equal importance, then having the first person in a meeting dance send a link and second slot in isn't unreasonable. However, here is the thing in practice: I never click on your calendar ever, unless you maybe are the president of the United States. Matching up the importance urgency of what we have to think talk about both our schedules etc is a far more nuanced dance than You give me options and I pick like you are a dentist or something. I wish there were better technical solution Calendar really is most expensive social capital negotiation out there and I get the instinct and I also get that in some situations, it is really more efficient for everyone. Again, if you're actually run a doctor's office and all patients are the same to the doctor, the pattern works. But the reality is that to properly, to properly schedule, you both need to look at everyone going on, everything going on, evaluate relative importance of different meetings versus whatever the issue is at hand, and then mutually shift calendars to work. I, I agree largely with this statement in the, the extent that um, some of these um, calendar tools that plan um, a specific time with you, they're very much designed one way. Um, and the good news is there is a lot of calendar applications in the market um, that are coming out at the moment. And I believe that they will have this sort of function inside of it. Uh, one in particular was a great one with uh, Woven, um, that was good. Um, but there is yeah, a step further that we need to go where we need to consider people's time. But I don't think we're gonna be able to do that until we have machine learning that understands the concept of calendars and the concepts of people's time and attaches to, to other metrics around your sort of life. Um, but we're getting closer to that and that's great news. And I do agree with him here in the extent that, yes, these applications are good for a one-way transaction where, for example, you are booking something with somebody or you're planning around their time. I, I, I think that's much more suitable where these apps really find the best benefit. But I'm not sure I say it as aggressively as this. <laughs> I feel like um, it's big... It's probably it's much smarter than me. <laughs> uh, but the, the state... Um, 
uh, he's written this in, in bear, I can see. Um, and um, the fact that he's called it Naked Display of Social Capital Di- Dynamics in Business is like mental, uh, really, to sort of describe it as that. I just like, there's a problem with Calendarly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe I'm being silly. So um, it says, look, so look, when a negotiation is totally nakedly one sided, Calendarly is fine. You work for to me, I work to you. If you're the president and I'm a student, fine. But just be clear about the social message I receive from you on of your asserted sense of self-worth when you send me that link. Thing is, I, f- I don't know whether it's difficult because I, I wouldn't overthink it. I just think, right, this guy's using a tech that he doesn't necessarily or she doesn't necessarily find necessarily uh, find it. U- they find it useful at this time to solve this problem. So I don't know. Um, and they say, do I wish there was a more nuanced, efficient technical approach? Yep. And there are so many failures along the way, but we are where we are. Okay, yeah. I agree generally with the statement uh, overall, like the fact that, yes, this could be done a lot better in the market. And there are solutions that are arising at the moment that um, do. It just It's just um, an evolution thing. Um, you know, naturally, like... Um, we originally thought that like the whole uh, going in the office was right, but now it's being very much touted as not a great experience in terms of like step, but a lot of people still go to the office. It's that natural transition of whether we find it suitable to replace a certain thing um, as time goes on. I just think it's work evolution, <laughs> but at the same time, a very in-depth um, concept here by Sam. Um, crazy. Um, but really also very useful. Um, I'll link to the tweet. Um, I mean, I'm not arguing with Sam here. I just, I don't know whether I'm, uh, I'm educated enough to, <laughs> I'm not educated enough to answer this. Why am I doing this video? Um, I just thought it might be interesting to talk about this whole sort of, um, etiquette at work movement, anti-work, those who don't know, the subreddit anti-work got actually sort of, um, not blocked, but they um, made themselves private more recently because of some coverage on a news channel. Um, but really interesting. And I also saved this one, like another one, like this is uh, a great tweet from Chris Stancy. Uh, he just put about like the advertising overwork, junk food, throwaway culture in one f- single picture. I thought it was interesting, like this sort of conversation about um, whether this sort of messaging is wrong and things like that, because um, it's happening a lot in remote work. I mean, I replied saying, "Don't like, I don't like the overuse of meetings here, but without meetings, even even without meetings, I'm impartial to a Kit Kat at nine thirty. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm considering doing something like this in the future, just talking about these sort of topics and whether they're interesting. So if you find this video useful, please do uh, give it a thumbs up and also feel free to comment on whether you'd like to see a segment like this on a regular basis. Um, Obviously, we won't talk about too much controversial stuff. However, at the same time, uh, I thought it might be interesting to talk about. Anyway, folks, a big thank you and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.